So I wanted to make sure that the story that Mike Mo was telling was real. And uh, so, but also I didn't want to step on anybody's toes. I didn't want me to just out Tony Hawk like the only opinion he cares about is mine when it comes to the game. But because I don't know if it's entirely true anyway, but it's probably just kind of anecdotal. So I said, yo, dude, I caught Mike Mo on Twitch the other night and he told me this crazy story. I thought I'd see if it was cool with you before I made it public. Hope all is well. Congrats on the game. I showed him, I linked him to the video and then he responded on Instagram. Haha, <laughs> 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 yeah, very cool. All true, by the way. I said, oh, thanks, dude. It means a lot. So there you go. Verified. Today, we don't really have much of a plan, but I was BSing with Mike Mo over Twitter DMs. I was like, maybe we could uh, get together and co-stream and just like play some THPS. And like, even though we are like, the skill gap is like quite large between us, we could still find a way to just like hang out and maybe play for just like an hour and just like see what happens. So for those of you who don't know, Mike Mo is an amazing pro skateboarder and he's been in like over a dozen big named Skate Films. Uh, he's sponsored by Girl, uh, Spitfire, Lakai, has his own sunglasses and glasses company, um, Royal Trucks, Bones and Swiss Bearings, and Diamond. And he's just like a, yeah, he's he's legend. Yeah. So, I don't know. I figured this might be a cool change of pace and we'll just like play some online. I've actually never played a private lobby on the retail version of the game. So, that to excuse us while we get kind of like acquainted with like what's going on. So anyway, welcome everybody. Hope you guys are doing all right today. Let's see if he's ready. I'm gonna go on a stream real quick and see. So that's his stream. He's live right now. He just started streaming on Twitch like not too long ago, but he's got an amazing following on Twitter and Instagram and like pretty sure on YouTube and wherever else. He's got like half a million. So make sure you toss him a follow. Go say what's up. Cause this guy, <laughs> I'm telling you, you're watching this gameplay right now. It's insane. So if you want to see some real, live, good gameplay, <laughs> you go to his stream. But if you want to hang out with me, you're more than welcome to. I'm just saying. All right, I'm going to call him now. PC. Is this Andy THPS on, on the yeah, line? This is Andy THPS on the line. How's it Dude, going, Mike? I saw, sorry that, uh, I saw your comment on, um, in the chat, but not on Discord. And I'm just like borderline boomer with all this stuff. I'm kind of new to the PC world, so I apologize for putting you on hold. Dude, it's totally fine, man. I'm kind of stumbling through this myself, so it's no big deal. I like our gameplay, though, right now, of just us just chilling on our boards. I'm Jack Black, and you're... It, what's your character? Um, this is Andy in quarantine. I had, like, a full, like, Jesus beard going and, like... like. Oh, did you really? <laughs> yeah. I shaved it off, though. Like, I can't remember. It was summer, and it was just hot, so I was just, like, got rid of it. Anyway, yeah, that's it. <laughs> So you actually kind of looked like that for a minute. Yeah, yeah. And I, I still have long hair. I just always put it up because it's just like it's in the way. I'm going to go to your actual stream right now because I want to see what my competition is, you know, and I want to I'm, okay. I'm pulling it up right now. And I really want to see like where say you're on one side of the the, the map or whatever. Mm -hmm. Maybe like, oh, OK, he's hitting those those ramps hard over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go over here. I mean, I'm going to. I'm going to be using, like, basically, in the warehouse, at least, I'm going to be using, like, the whole level, more or less, because, I mean, it's so small in here, but, you know. That's what I was thinking, like, is this... Okay, so, you're you're the god at this game, right? So, <laughs> what is the best map for me to potentially get one tag on something without you potentially not hitting it? Um, Something that's bigger, so, like... We can go like to San Francisco streets. That's probably one of the biggest or school. There's a, there's a lot of big maps in this game. So um, yeah, for those of you who don't know, there's like a mode called graffiti where you could, if you trick on something, it'll paint it a color. And then the other person, if they trick on that same object with a higher point value, they steal that. So there's a mode that we could play that we made up. It's called God Graffiti, where it's one versus all. So in Mike's case, if he ends up with one tag at the end of the game, he wins. But he, if he ends up with zero at the end of the game, then I win. We could try it in like a relatively smaller map and then we could kind of scale up and then we can act, actually perfect. do like maybe like a best of three or best of five at some point like in the future. Yeah, you know what? If I get one on you, no matter the map, then <laughs> I'm going to be stoked on myself. We're but also, too, um, I want a rebuttal in real life, and I want to play you a game of skate in real life. And, if, <laughs> and then the same rules apply. If you get one letter, then then you win. Dude, you know? <laughs> that's, it's probably about even on both ends of the spectrum there. 
So actually, maybe... I, I've, I've never seen you skate, actually. I, what, what, can you... So yeah, I'm just... not amazing. It's like I can, like, caveman, occasionally kick flip, ollie, ollie 180, front side, like, front side boards, or back side board slide, like... That's kind of it, like drop in on a six footer. <laughs> it's like I used okay. it to, to get around, getting to and from school and work back in the day. But so we like, might be equivalent then. I, I feel like that's fair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. That's rad. You've become so good at this game. How much time do you think you've put in into this, dude? Like hours, uh, like thousands of thousands of hours, like. I started playing at the Tony Hawk 1 demo in 1999. Ever since then, it's just always been my favorite game. So I just always come back to it. And like when Tony Hawk 3 came out, I was playing it like so much. And that's how Neversoft found out about me because I was just posting all the time in the forums and posting videos and setting high scores and stuff. And and then that's when they hired me. And I just kind of like have been involved with this game like pretty much ever since. There was like a five year span where no games were coming out or anything. But, but yeah, it's sort of been my jam ever since then. So that's kind of crazy, huh? Like you just, you were just so good at it that they ended up hiring you. Is that pretty much what it, what happened? Yeah, more or less. Like there's other like really good players. Like I wouldn't consider myself the best. Like I probably was at one time, but I think it comes down just like real skating. It's like, who do you enjoy watching the most um, uh -huh. kind of thing. Um, so it's kind of subjective, but, uh, but yeah, more or less. I think um, I was just really involved with the community and just always down to give input and give feedback and like not be a and asked about it, you know? So like, I think they appreciated that part. And, but yeah, more or less. So. That's great. And then met Tony Hawk out of it too. And then now Tony Hawk, all he cares about is what your opinion is about the game. Yeah, <laughs> apparently, man. That's <laughs> like, that was such a wild story when you told me. I was like, it's like 1 a.m. like Saturday and I'm just like getting ready to go to bed. I was like, oh, Mike moves on, let's go watch it. And the next thing you know, or I know, you're just like telling this wild story about that. So. Drunk. Yeah, <laughs> just completely. Very drunk. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he's kind of stuttery. I think he's uh, he's had some to drink, but that's cool. No Dude, when you me. you sent me that video, like, is this cool to post? I'm like, yeah, I, it's, yeah, I guess. I'm like, I sound like just like I've had a little too many to, to drink, but sure, you know. I mean, whatever. That's that's what I portray on here. I'm I'm not gonna steer away from it. That's I guess what, what I'm. I guess that's what I'm going for. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so I, I figured it might be a good idea to at least like pass it by you and see what's up. But um. yeah, yeah, thank you for doing that. But that is insane though that he literally just bases it on what, like, because I'm sure like developing a remastered game can be difficult because it, you get all the people that are actually nostalgic about the game. They're like, oh, the, the controls are way different, blah, blah, blah. But that's why I think he was concerned with. Well, does Andy THPS, does does he care about, or does he think it feels the same? Yeah. Oh, yes, he does? Okay, we're good then. Yeah. Because Tony really, like, he's a mainstream guy, but he is actually kind of the chorus dude. He knows all the new skaters. He knows everything about skating. So he, like, he cares more than anybody. So it's rad that, like, you're, you're that bar. You know? Yeah. I was just going to say, like, I have, like, a high bar. Like, um, like I'm super picky when it comes to, like, any game, because I've been playing them all my life. I've designed or I've worked on, like, you know, a, a couple dozen games at this point. And, you know, well, like, where the game's at now, like, I'm super happy with how far it's come. But, I mean, it's no secret. It's like, I, you can always make a game better, right? But, it, you know, it comes down to time and budget, and you got to push the thing out the door, and, like, kind of prioritize what is most important. And I think we kind of hit the most um, important key elements to make the game feel good. See, yeah. and hearing it from that side too, of like, what, because you're right, it's all about budget and all that stuff. It's kind of crazy to think that, you know, it's like people put so much time into so many games to develop them and then you get bags like me that are like, like, oh my God, they, they left this out? Oh. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then, yeah, now, but hearing it from that perspective, I'm like thinking, I'm like, yeah, maybe I got to shut up sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it's like, <laughs> so that kind of like um, feedback that you're talking about, like, like being that guy on the internet, like that, that yeah. happens um, with any and every game. Like you could be a hundred percent happy um, with the way a game you made comes out and like spend 10 years on it, have an unlimited budget with an all-star team working on it. And there's still, gonna be people out there's there. There's still gonna be something, that's for like, sure. 
<clears throat> but nevertheless, like feedback is always uh, feedback, right? It's always valid. So I wouldn't say to just like check yourself and don't ever, you know, wish that a game was better. But there are there are real people with you know families who go to work every day who work on the game and read that stuff. So um, for sure, yeah, know, at least to a degree, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, and, and my style is always I kind of go a little bit too hard. So maybe I'm gonna cool it down just a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> but do you get that? Do you kind of get some flack, like maybe for like skate videos or like something like, like being in a contest? If you get some internet haters like talking jive about like you under delivering or just anything like that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, I mean, especially in my time of uh, where I'm at now in my skate career, where I'm like, actually, I don't really skate because I'm my legs don't work like my foot is messed up so i it hurts me yeah and i'll you know i'll hear the occasional comment like you lazy piece of you oh, and geez. i'm like well well i'm like well you know what i wouldn't say that's the correct word it's more like uh technology at this point can't fix me so once technology fixes me then then call me that <laughs> yeah <laughs> but Dude. As of now, I you know it's more of a career-ending injury, so you know I feel like that's a little bit different of a scenario. So, but that's a classic situation of people not knowing what they're talking about while they're talking about it. Yeah, exactly. So that's how I view it, and I, I don't I don't even pay attention at this point anymore because I'm like, yeah, like, it's, well, it's, it's, just, un, it's like, unhealthy they just don't too. Know. Yeah, it, and they just don't know, and that's okay because why would they know? It's actually kind of arrogant of me to assume that they do know yeah so i've i've kind of checked myself on multiple levels on all these different type of thoughts that you can p potentially have and mine is what i the c conclusion i've came to is well why would they know i mean come on yeah like they don't they're not in your body why like yeah they also they, didn't like break their foot doing doing whatever, or leg doing whatever either like they have no idea the process or healing process or what kind of like grind you have to do just to get to the point that you're at now or to get where you want to be or anything like that yeah just, like, and you know what and and too like the the piece i've made with it is that my i put as much effort as one person could put into becoming healthy again and I just never got there because I have a nerve injury and a nerve nerves are different than ligaments or tendons or bones. Like Whoa. you just, you just, you just, you like, you, you can't heal nerves. Nerves can heal themselves, but you can't rehab nerves. It's either they work or they just do not. And mine just decided not to work again. So. Oh, that's gnarly. So yeah. I follow you on all the socials pretty much. And I like I've kind of I think ironically, I started following you on Instagram like after the injury. I was like, oh, dude, that's a drag. And like I should follow him, like track his progress and everything. Uh -huh. um, how long ago was that now? Was that like 2014? Dude, 2014, August 2014. So it's been six years. Dang. Yeah. Six full years. I, I mean, this is not why we're streaming, but whatever. I mean, I'm cool <laughs> with talking about it or whatever, but like. I actually watched the um, was it the Nine Club highlights uh, today because I up to this point I was under the impression it was a skate injury. Um, no, <laughs> but it was a pretty gnarly story. Like if you guys want to check it, I don't know if you want to tell it now, but or like they could just go watch that video too. But yeah, they could watch a video. But basically, I was an idiot and I got hurt doing dumb stuff, and that's you know that's a part of life. Weird stuff happens, and at this point, I'm fine with that. You know, at, it, it took me like a couple of years to accept that but I'm fully there, fully accepted it, and I don't really care, but, but yeah, yeah, and I'm totally happy, and I'm like, I'm like, you know what, whatever, it just, it, it just happened, and that's okay, you know, nothing yeah. wrong with that. Yeah. It, it, I but it didn't this, break me spiritually. That that that's the important part. That is, I think that's very important. It's good you're aware of that because some people can get like in that pit of just kind of like I don't know self doubt kind of thing. I fractured my L three, which is like a lumbar bone. Oh in my back, no way! And like really? doing something really stupid, and it was just like, why did I do that? And that's like affected me. I've had to go to physical therapy multiple times, and like I have like basically boomer back by by the age of twenty three. And it was Damn, like your boomer back. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I got a boomer. <laughs> I got a boomer knee too from skating. Yeah. Oh, so like, God. I always joke that like my knee can tell the weather. Like whenever it gets cold, I can feel it in my knee first. It's like oh, there's, oh yeah, we there's we snow coming to on. become meteorologists for yeah. sure. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, it is what it is. And it's funny. I was reading about it. It's like, um, well, there goes my NBA career, you know. And I was like reading about you, and apparently you kind of had the same takeaway. It's like, well, you know, if skating didn't work out. I would have just gone in the NBA. And I was like, kind of in the same boat. Well, if this video game thing doesn't work out. I'll just go play basketball. But... Wait, how tall are you? I'm six one ish. Wait, are you actually good at basketball? Sort of. Or is that I, a reference? I mean, like, no, no, no. Like, I actually, I played a lot. I played in high school, but not after that, really. But, but ever since my back and knee injuries, I, I don't know. I'm also like, I'm older now, so, <laughs> you know, age yeah, definitely caught up with me. But I would still, I still dribble around at the gym and shoot it, shoot around. But I haven't really played a real game in years. Play like knockout. Wh wait, where do you live? Uh, right now I'm Pacific Northwest. I used to mean? like what state? <laughs> uh, or Oregon. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I used to live in LA. I was in there for ten years. Um, I had a lot of friends in Simi Valley. I lived in Woodland Hills and Sherman Oaks and uh, Winnetka. Moved all around there. Damn, I was gonna say we should get a little crew going of playing basketball too, because I love basketball. That'd be sick. Have you been playing lately? I haven't played in a little bit, but I have a hoop in my backyard and I shoot all the time. But like I haven't like ran a you know a pickup game or anything like that. Yeah. Sometimes like usually every year we get get into a league and um, we usually get to the playoffs and then lose like first round. Nice. <laughs> but then I was like, dude, if I could recruit you and get you, maybe we could get to the second round. That would have been that that would be nice, man. That would be. We need somebody. That would be a lot of fun. <laughs> I would be into it. I'm in the same boat. It sounds like we're kind of the same speed. It's like shoot around, but I haven't gotten in the pickup game in a long time. Yeah, especially with the whole COVID. <laughs> so it's like, you know, you, I mean, it would be kind of weird almost to play a pickup game right now. Yeah. Although I, I, I was biking earlier and I saw, I was going through the park and I saw people playing baseball and soccer. And I was like, oh, sh people are actually like kind of doing it again. That's cool. But, you know, no, we're not going to get into that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not getting into that. That's a whole thing. Yeah, totally. Someone in my chat is saying I could still be in the NBA, dude. Don't give up. That dude, that, that boat has sailed. <laughs> it's gone, man. <laughs> Appreciate that, though. Well, what do you want to do? Do you, should we just fire off like a warm up, like trick attack? Like, are you familiar with this level? Like, what do you want? Yeah, do? I know this level. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna be pro in the sense of like uh, knowing all the perfect lines to hit, but I'm gonna jam around and see see how you're. I don't even know how you're going that fast or that high, but I, you know, let, let's just try this one and see what happens. Do you want to do a graffiti or a trick attack? What do you think I have? You know this better than anybody. What What do I have a better chance in? So, so I somehow, think if you yeah. do, if we do the god graffiti, so if you end up with one tag or more, you win. And if I get, if you have zero, then I win. So we could just try that real quick. So let's, let's do that graffiti game and then trick attack is just is uh just point straight up two minutes oh pfft. we know who's gonna win that one <laughs> obviously me <laughs> i mean well we could there, you could enable game mods and play with like perfect balance and double base or something too if we want to do that. oh could i yeah dude i'm ripping <laughs> already <f> up <laughs> So you're blue. See, the thing is, what I noticed that, like, is unbelievable watching you is that you hit all these crazy wall rides and stuff that I didn't even know you can do. Like, you know these, like, little secret pockets. Yeah, that... wall rides are key, man, for sure. It's, like, one of the most important things to do in, like, any kind of, like, even if you're just cruising to get around, it's, like, crucial. Dude, I got so much worse the second, like... Oh my god, I turned some of your- I turned something of your- it was red, and I turned it blue. That was me. Hmm. Oh my god, I'm horrible. You don't- you don't like to hear that, do you? <laughs> um, no, I mean, that's fine. It's cool. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> it's- it's funny, when I play someone new who's, like, heard of me, and then they, like, win a round, they're like, Oh my god, I'm, you know, calling my mom, I beat any THPS, but it's like, in reality, like, I mess up all the time, and like, I uh, get beat all the time, so it's it, it, it'd be like that. So, well, you know what I imagine your problem is, is mm. that you try to go for like the in most insane combo where you have you take all two minutes to to like get the points. So yeah. you could potentially bail right at the end, and then it kind of screws everything over. Yeah, yeah, that's, that... a, that's just I think. Yeah, there's definitely like a part like I reached a point in this game like a while ago where it was just like 
I didn't even care about landing a combo. I just care about beating my last high score. And if I accidentally land it when it's, you know, above or below, like whatever happens, happens. Like it's not even really about like winning the match. It's just like, about like cruising and getting something better than you did last kind of thing. Oh, I, I, I pulled a, I pulled a manual last second, so I, I still have potential to take you, take you out. I think I scored like a million and five on those. So. Damn it! <laughs> Twenty-five to zero. Okay. Here, okay, you want... we're going again. I might have to take my sweatshirt off for the. I'm get, it's getting hot, man. <laughs> I'm taking it off next round. All okay, right. we gotta go again. I got this. I could get one on you. How often do people actually get one on you? Um, well, in this level, it's a little smaller. I think it's harder, but it happens, yeah. Like, I was playing with one of my mods who has, like, no experience, and he, like, I think I beat him five to four. It was, like, a really close one. <laughs> Wait, so really quick, too, the, the... But we played in a much bigger map, so anyway. Yeah, that helps. I, I would think. Because yeah, when you're in that those big maps, it's really hard for me to find these little bitty like, you know, benches that are like somewhere tucked behind a wall or whatever. Dude, how do you stay balanced? I don't get it. Like, I mean obviously you press up or down, but like So the key is to stay in a grind or a manual as little as possible. Uh, um really? stay in the air as long as possible. And so like and they all, there's a bunch of other like small little tricks and rules like never grind the same straight rail twice in a row or else it like um, penalizes your balance and then manualing three times in a row without a wall rank grind or revert in between will also penalize you and so it's just really? like yeah kind of like small little details like that but you know it just comes with time and practice like you kind of get the feel for it and used to it huh yeah there, dude i'm getting worse actually you know, I, I have a YouTube channel with a bunch of tips and tricks, you know, in case I you know. almost <laughs> watched it today, but I had no time. And I was like, I saw it on YouTube and I was like, yeah, should I? And I'm like, nah, I can't. I got other stuff to do right now. <laughs> yeah. But I might have to check it. Oh, no, nah, it's cool. Yeah, it's like all those little things have been the same since uh, Tony Hawk 4. Um, it's been consistent across the board, and that's what when I was working on this game, I made sure that those things were still consistent. That was a big part of my role there. Like my big, my main role was um, like I have a you know designer title, but I really was just kind of hounding the uh, the handling team, like skater control. So if anything felt kind of wacky or little, you know, things were misfiring or happening on accident, like I would always be on top of them for that. Uh -oh. what, what about the names of the game? Because I noticed that in, like, say Skater XL, I noticed every so often they, like, mess the, the names of the trick up. But this game, it's never wrong. Oh, yeah? Like, so... Ever. From uh, what I've noticed. Well, I do know that, like, Tony gets a build every once in a while. And he I know he gives his input there. But, I like, these names haven't really changed in, like, since, you know, Tony 4 or something. I think there's been a couple, like... Um, you know, tweaks here and there, but, um, but yeah, that's kind of beyond me. Like some of the special moves, um, are a little bit questionable, but also some of these special moves don't exist in real life, but, um, yeah. What, like the kick foot back flip? Yeah. Like, that's, that's not real? <laughs> I mean, right, I mean, it's like, <laughs> technically it's still the right name, I guess, right? But. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. Like, what's this? Let me see Jack Black's assume the position. Yeah. Well, you don't do that when you like warm up in the morning, like. Just, like let, let me <laughs> let me check this out again. Let me like fully analyze it because I saw the name, but he does like a late shove it at the end too. Let me see. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! What does he do? It's a. Is it a late front shove at the end of it? I don't know. I think he's supposed to be like grabbing it first and putting it back under his feet. Huh. It's like a 90 degree turn into his hand from his feet, it looks like. Yeah. Huh. Is, is there such thing as a 90 degree shove? Um, <laughs> I guess let's say if you go 180, if you nine, if you ollie 90 and then shove it, I guess that'd be a late shove it, huh? Yeah. I'm not sure. 
Take we can invest in the new trick. We could just call it that, the, the 90 shove. There you go. Heard it here first. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Okay. okay, we need a bigger map. Yeah, I was going to say, do you have a request on a bigger map? Or do you care? Um, well, uh, this is Tony Hawk 2, right? Yeah, this, one or two. Map. So yeah. we can just play whichever one? Yeah. Um, Philly's big. Could try that. Or uh, Skate Street's oh, a little bigger. Philly might be good because I could secretly just kind of go like on a roof somewhere across the whole fountain. You know, that big rail that goes onto the roof? Yeah. But you probably get up there. I'm just trying to think of things that you wouldn't think of. <laughs> school two. So, like, I would be at a disadvantage for sure. And, like, school one, school two, um, New York. And let's, let's more. like you said, let's slowly ramp it up. Okay. So, we'll do this one and then, like, we'll we find will a get to the bigger ones. Yeah. Oh, and this is wide open for free skate. Okay. I, didn't, I thought you had to, like, maybe knock that fence down or whatever. Oh, I think in graffiti it's just open by default. Oh, okay. Oh, dude, I got three graffitis. Four. But all you have to do is a grab on one of these, so you, I think you'll take that. <laughs> I'm on my way. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. Then we're going to play a game of skate. And yeah. then we're going to be two for two, and then we're going to settle it on the court basketball with a three-point shootout. Oh, my God. Because you're going to win this. I'll, I'll, wheel, I'll win the real-life skate, and then basketball, we'll just see what happens. No oh, man. I mean, I'm down, you know. <laughs> it's a whole saga, man. Yeah, dude. A game – I haven't played, like, an actual game of skate, like, <laughs> probably before yeah. some of these people in chat were born here. It's been a, a long time. I actually just bought a new complete. I can't even remember what brand it is, but I just went to the skate shop because my other, like, I had another complete. I used to ride into the pool at, like, parties, and it was just, like, so busted. I was like, I'm just going to go buy something local. And I was, like, trying to just ollie up curbs and stuff, and it was, like, not happening. But I eventually got it, but it was just like, dude, I'm tired. Like, <laughs> just trying to do kickflips in place, like, the 15th time gets rough. Dude, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to like kind of just go ghost protocol on that one right there, but I just, I'm so concentrated to beat you. I just, I just want, I want one victory so bad. Wait a minute, it might happen. You might, yeah, you might get it. Oh, you see this? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just gonna sit back. I'm gonna put your stream up and see what, what kind of work you do right now. I'm gonna put it live on, on mine. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if he can. So I know I got one. Uh-oh. Two. Oh. So I got to count seven. And I, I think I've already got that awning over there, so it's three. Uh-oh. Don't do it to me, guy. man. I, I, I'm getting nervous over here. <laughs> I definitely didn't go over there. Dude, I'm sweating <laughs> right now. <laughs> Oh no, the pole! It was right there. Ah, the last planter was right in front of me. One! Yes! Dude, whatever. <laughs> nice job. One! Claps in the chat for Mike Mo. Great job, man. Give it to me. Come on. <laughs> I got him with one. That was a GG. That was a close one. Dude. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Like you said, people call their mom after beating you. I might call my mom and put her on here. <laughs> mom, I just beat, I just beat him. <laughs> oh yeah, the chat's going off on mine. They're, they're... Oh yeah. All right, you want to go again? You, I, I think you're a little. I think you're mad about this. Yeah, I got a, I got a chip on my shoulder now. Okay, there we go. A minute to win it. I can't believe that happened. Andy THPS. Doubted me. <laughs> oh my god, my frame rate. No one forward. ever doubt me again in life. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, playing this game and talking is um very hard. It is. It's like um yeah. it's like a musical instrument. You're like it's like playing guitar and singing. I don't know if you've ever tried that, but it's just like I used to play guitar and I never tried to sing ever because 
I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm I'm awful at both, and trying to put them together is just like even worse. Even worse. It's very difficult, and yeah. that's why my you know like I was saying when I was explaining that Tony Hawk story of you, I'm like, I have friends on the on my chat, and I'm trying to talk to them at the same time of like reading chat mixed with playing a video game. Yeah. And and drunk. Yeah. It, <laughs> it's, it's not a good combo to speak um, clearly. <laughs> yeah, it's and, tough. I think that's what separates just like people who play games from like streamers. Is, like the streamers can like play the game and like talk to chat. Like you know. Oh, the, it's actually it's a real it's a real talent. It's actually really hard to. Dude, do. Some of these kids are like playing like Guitar Hero with like a million notes coming at them, and they're just like reading the chat at the same time. It's like it's nutty. At that point, they might just memorize it, huh? For real. I mean, they might they, probably. They're all. I mean, I could do the Rubik's cube <laughs> and talk. Really? Oh yeah. I, I could never do a Rubik's cube. I just all it is with it. You, you just learn seven moves and you know how to do the whole thing. And I could, I could do it with my eyes closed if I know the next. Like, say if I know the position of the cube, I'll be like, all right, this is the move I need to do. I close my eyes and just do it. Nice. So I, I would assume that Guitar Hero would probably be similar, but something like Call of Duty and where the game's always changing. Oh, my God, oh here he goes. He, he, he knows that there's three on deck. Hold on. Um, did I extra stream off? I did. My bad, dude. <laughs> I am uh, really trying here. I don't know where your other ones are. Oh, there's some. Oh, I hit them, man. Accidentally extra stream off. So I have to watch a commercial, of course. Mr. Bezos coming through. Dude, Bezos. Uh, I, saw, I saw you call him Bezos Bucks the other day, and I'm like, dude, that's pretty funny. <laughs> they kind of are, you know, if you think about it, because it's a, the, the, the Twitch Prime Bucks. It's like coming out of his pocket. Okay, dude, where's, call... where's your third one, man? Is in the skate park? Oh, no. It is rough. Wait a minute. Oh, you know what? Fun fact. 27 and 3, th those are my numbers. March 27th, 327. Really? No, so that was, was meant sign from God right now. 327, man. Yeah. It means nothing to anybody else, just me. That's all. We're, we're proud of you, man. Thank you. That, that, that round was meant for you. It was. <laughs> it, that was. That was That was pretty cool. Okay, best of five. Thank you for letting me win. Oh, yeah, sure. okay, here we go. You're going to clutch up like Dodger style right now. <laughs> uh, what was the series record? I didn't watch any of it. Because they just won the whole thing, right? Uh, they did win the series. whole thing. But so for them to go to the to the World Series, the round before that, was at the semi sem, semifinals or whatever. I don't know what they call it in baseball. But yeah. um, they were down 3-1 in the, in the playoffs. So they were down 3-1, and then they just won three games in a row, got to the, the World Series, then they beat the... I'm having the syndrome where you, you play video games and concentrate. And, yep, and I totally it, know. <laughs> it, it doesn't work, but... What team did they play? I can't even think of it anymore. Me neither. I have no idea. Well, I, I, I watched, watched every game. I watched basketball, I, not baseball. Wait, hold on. Hey, chat, help me out. I don't know. The Rays, someone says. Oh, yeah, 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 Tampa Bay, that's right. I could not remember that. Someone said the Rays, I was like, dude, I don't even know what city that is. Yeah, I, yeah. I know where Tampa most, Bay, like, I played baseball, like, growing up and whatnot, but, like, I, I don't remember the Tampa Bay Rays. Are they new? I feel like, like uh, such a boomer. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> How old are you, by the way? Are you are you allowed to say? Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll send you a message. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> I think fair we're enough. we're similar. I think I'm a little older than you. I'm 30. I'm borderline boomer. I'm actually just turning straight up, straight into a boomer. Yeah. Like I was trying to mobile order something on my phone earlier to like at a restaurant. I'm like, dude, I don't know how this works. Can I just walk into the restaurant and just, just <laughs> like do it how you normally do, you know? Yeah. And that is the sign of me becoming a boomer. That was my, my moment today. My brother was like, he's a couple or, a couple years older than me. And I was trying to tell him how to like subscribe to me with Twitch Prime. And he was like, dude, I think this is the moment where I just like realize I'm a boomer. I cannot figure out how to link my Twitch account to my Amazon account. 
and was like, this is it, man. It's like, well, I could do it. So I think I just need a couple more years and I'll be at your level. Dude, I, there is a defining moment though. Like you said, like where you realize you go, you know what? I think all new music sucks. I'm oh a my God. Yes. Yeah. There was a song I heard recently and uh, I was just like, dude, I don't get this. Like I'm that guy. I'm like the, uh, yeah, I'm, the, I'm just like, oh, this like these kids don't know what music's about kind of thing. But, but generally I'm like pretty receptive to new music. I don't know. Hey, we got one. Hard to do. Yeah. Wait, I just realized that you have my camera and the whole thing in the corner of your screen permanently. Yeah, I just tried to see if I could squeeze that in there. I don't even know if it's really doing anything for us. That's kind of cool. How'd you do that? It's added a, a window in OBS. I use Streamlabs I, OBS, right? It's yeah, similar. I do. Like you could basically like add a source that's a, a window and then just like pick which window you want it to be and then you resize it and place it. Like okay, I know exactly thing. what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Are you still going? Or are you no. free skate? Yeah, we're free skate. I won. You won? Yeah, so it's one to two now, right? Oh my god, yeah. you won? I didn't even realize. Yeah. Okay. I'm not talking to you for two minutes. We're going in, dude. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I know. I think part of my strategy is to distract you. I think that's the smartest strategy I can personally have. It might. It kind of works. You could. Let me see. What else can I ask? You know what else really works is if you gift like 20 subs in my chat, it'll distract me. Oh. Yeah. I mean, ju just, you know, one of the many things that would distract me, but that one would, would probably, probably work. <laughs> That's a good ploy to get me to do twenty <laughs> to donate twenty subs. <laughs> I like your style, man. That's smart. Yeah, you know, it's just uh, I feel like you know happens to everyone. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> oh. The first time we're not talking, it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like the one that counts. I could take the series if I just okay. I'm not gonna get cocky. I'm like, I did play this game a lot when I was a kid, a lot. But obviously the muscle memory goes away after like 21 years. Yep. Is that what it, I think it is? Right, like 20, 21 years ago, right? 1999 was the first one. Yep. Yeah. Which is freaking crazy. Oh, you just smoked on mine. Shit. I miss one of yours though. And I don't know where it is. Oh, you know what I have to ask about? Hmm. Just because it's like suiting to my life and everything, and <clears throat> it, obviously it is to yours. But um, those glasses on your head. Oh yeah. I got it. I got it. I got to know what's up with that. So like, it's kind of you, stupid. You, <laughs> but, but, you, but you know I own a sunglass company, right? Me and my brother. Yeah, yeah. I saw the website. I was like, dude, these are fresh. And I, I used to wear a prescription. Um, uh -huh. Up until 2015, I, I got LASIK, and so I had oh, the glasses. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but the story with the red sunglasses, like I used to, do, I do a uh, used to do a lot of drum streaming. So like once a week, I would drive into my studio or where I have my drum set up, not really a studio, and uh, I would have the sunglasses on my head, and I would start the stream. Oh no, you just won, rip. Um, Man, you just distracted me so hard. <laughs> um, I know anyway. what I'm doing. Okay. I know what I'm doing, guys. I know how to distract Damn. people. Not necessarily play the game, but I know how to distract. Okay, so I would drive into the uh, you know the drum room, and I would it would be sunny out. And I would be have my sunglasses on my head, and I would start the stream with the sunglasses on my head without thinking about it. And then like it happened so frequently that it just became a thing. Like when I didn't have them, people were like, "Oh, where are your sunglasses?" And so I was just like, "Oh, I'll put them on my head," and it just became like a thing like two or three years ago. It is a good way though to like. Stand out because w when Tony said that, he's like, Andy THPS is, and I'm like, is that the guy with the sunglasses on his head? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. Wow, so, really? Yeah. That's that like was part of it too. I, I should try to ask him for that clip now that I'm thinking about it. Cause it is since, like you said, you went into the video and watched it and it wasn't in there. So they took it out. Mm -hmm. I'll try to get the clip. That would be, ask him for that it. Would be awesome, man. Yeah, I was like, I saw there was this band I was really into, some like niche prog rock band, and like the bassist was super killer, and he he always wore this fuzzy hat wherever he went, and like, um, 
whenever he played a gig, he would always wear that same hat. And like, it's like, he didn't need to wear the hat. He's like, so amazing. But I asked him, I was like, dude, so what's the hat with the hat? He's like, dude, it's my thing. It's like, people say the guy with the fuzzy hat. And that's how like, you they pick me out in a lineup of a hundred other bases. Like I'm that guy. And so I was like, oh, that's pretty smart. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I, that is a good point. So anyway, it's become a thing now, but. No, right, but so, do they do they have to be red too? Is that like you don't have a blue pair ever, I, right? I have like forty pairs of sunglasses, but yeah, these like the ones that were in stream are red, and yeah, like these ones that actually have my um, my last name um, on the side of them. Dude, it's we like might have to make dude. a THPS glassy, uh, Andy THPS glassy. That would be sick, man. A and, lot and of they're gonna be red. There's been quite <laughs> a few people. Like I took a bunch. Like I got a like two hundred. You know. Um, I ordered 200. I took like two dozen to TwitchCon, and I didn't really think anyone would really want it, but I got rid of them all real quick. And some people have asked, like, where can I order them? And I just haven't put in the effort to like try and like get something rolling. But that'd be fresh. Something can happen from it. Dude, that'd be sick. Just like a little limited run. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Dude. But whatever. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, whatever. Spitballing. Yeah, I'm into it. All right. So you're familiar with this map. You ready to roll? First, oh, yeah, to, first to three, best of five. Yep. Let's do it. Uh oh, did it just? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, we're <laughs> so good. Okay. That black screen was a little long. Got game dev brain was like, oh god. So this map's even bigger though, right? Yeah. The, okay. I think this is the biggest map in the game. Yeah, maybe. This we... was the, yeah, this was the one I was thinking of. I'm like, maybe I can like hit a random little barrier in the corner of the map that you won't really mm -hmm. get to. But, yeah, uh, I mean the chances of that are really high. There's a lot of little nooks and crannies. There's like this whole alley behind this building and whatnot, the gym. It's tough. It's like you can come around the level, but trying to find it and make your way around is another thing. I'm so slow in this game too. I always end up manually at like 0 .05 miles an hour. So, you know, if you hold X during a manual, it, you go faster than if you weren't holding X in a manual. Or Ollie, whatever controller you're using. Are you serious? Yeah. Professional tip right there. Wait, hold on. I gotta try this out. Yeah. A little bit faster or like? A lot. Like, it's, it's no, I mean, it's like, you know, you're not gonna take off, but, you know, the, huh. the, the secret is to manual for as little time as possible because when you're in the air, you have no friction, but when you're on the ground, you do have friction. Yeah, it makes sense, but like, I just can't do that, you know? I, yeah. I can't like afford not to manual a long time to get to the next thing. Like, you just you just know exactly the next little spot to hit and I just my brain my brain can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get like this um kind of in the habit of like we call it bouncing where you just like as soon as you land a manual, you jump again, land in another manual, and jump again, land in another manual. It just like so your manuals are like point one seconds long. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh did I just I think I converted some of your stuff. Nice. Is that what that noise is? The little yeah, probably. Spray can. Yeah. Or maybe I got something new. No, I didn't. I don't. I didn't. Get, you said nice because you know you're like you didn't convert anything in my. I, I think you did, you <laughs> might have because I just tricked on something and then it wasn't red anymore. Or like, oh okay. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. That rail um, leading up to the rooftop. Oh, yeah. So that's one. Oh my god. Here, I'm gonna try to make a little screen like how you did. A little. You did window capture or video capture? Window. window. Yeah. Okay. And then I like you could. There's like a, an OBS. There's like a little drop down, so you can like be like, oh, it's this one, you know. So it'll have a select a drop down list of all your op your windows open. I hope I don't have anything weird open because everybody can see <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, and then did you did you full screen it to make it? Yours is yeah. Your window's like full screened underneath everything, and then I, it's just like behind whatever else I have going on. I'm I'm a boomer. I can't figure this out. It's fine. Oh, there, that's my OBS right there, guys. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Next time. Okay, I think I have all five. Ugh, I don't. Missed one. Rigged. I should have figured this out beforehand, but that's my bad. So okay. So I just had one left. Is that what happened? Yeah, so you won one to zero. I'm not butt hurting. It's fine. <laughs> My reputation's not at stake or anything. Wait, so am I doing better than most people? 
I think so. Yeah, I think I think you're about on par. Yeah, this is about how it goes. Yes. I think this is I think this is like the beauty of this type type of game. It's like no matter how bad or good you are, like it's if you can grind something or just do one trick, like you, you're golden, like you're you're a competitor. It's so fun. Yeah, and then if if you're like good with comboing, like you know, chain ten items together, then you're in, in better shape. You know what I was shocked about is how good Tony actually is at this game because it's like you think like at some point you're like okay you just put his name on the game and that's it you know like yeah but he, he's heavily he he knows he does he, knows. he gets invested dude his game face in that video y'all put out he's got a serious one man he was like in it to win it like the battle you and him had I was like that that was good content I was like dude these guys are like evenly matched like tony's good but he was still bailing right like anyone can mess up right and you took some mm -hmm. rounds from him and it came down to like the last round and yeah now he's good and he cares which is like really awesome yeah because like it, he could just like be like oh you know paycheck whatever i don't care how this comes out but he like exactly. he really does care you know what the coolest trick in this game is though hmm Backside knows one. Dude, Straight up. Yes, agree. It's the coolest trick. Big fan. It feels cool. Like, I always try to backside nose one everything. But it's like such a hard trick to balance in this game, I think, right? Yeah. Or is it, is, it, is it the bouncing you're talking about? That's all that matters. Um, bouncing grinds, they're all the same. Oh, whoops. Man, I've bailed multiple times. My goodness. Um, yeah, all the grinds, they bounce the same. All the manuals bounce the same. Oh, they do? Yeah. Okay. It feels so different for some reason. Yeah, Maybe I, I just hold it extra long as like a real skater. I'm like, that's the coolest trick you can do on a right. real skateboard. Yeah, so, so maybe right. I just ride this one longer. out. Yeah, I agree. Backside nose blunt, um, frontside nose slide. Actually, tail and, well, I say both nose slides, backside nose blunt, and frontside blunt are my favorites. We're switching over to Andy Cam right now. Hey, did you make the 100 mil last night or what? No, I didn't. I was did butterting. I did. I like, well, I bailed over 100 twice. And then I ended up accidentally landing a 96. And it was just like right in my reach, but I just like could not land it. It was just this kind of weird block. Sometimes it's best to just like take a break and just come back and then like maybe even land it like first or third try or something. It's like, I hear that. It's like at some point, it's just it starts to become like a. Uh, like a mental thing or something. Oh no. Oh, uh, was My it? Goodness. Are you still going? No, I'm done. Oh. I just four, landed, I accidentally dude. ran into the wall there. Or I accidentally landed my manual. I'm improving. Two to zero. All right, last one. Oh, well, okay. potentially last one. All right. <laughs> dude, intense. What'd you say? It's two to zero, is that what Yep. Okay. Concentrating. You know, I don't want to shut Andy T THPS down, though, dude. I, I gotta, or shut him out. I mean, don't, don't go easy on me, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You do you. Dude, I think Jack Black is the key, though, for this. He's got the perfect stats and everything. When you play online, everybody has perfect stats. Oh, really? Just so you know, yeah. Oh, huh. all right. So I'm not wrong. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. But yeah, in, the, in offline, he's got perfect stats by default. And his specials are pretty good, decent. Did you map, like, do you have 10 special tricks, or do you have the three? I just have three. OK. Because I, I only want to set them to up, down, triangle, up, down, circle, up, down, square, and that, mm -hmm. like, I don't want to, I don't want to think about it. Just yeah. up, down, <laughs> that's all. Is that how you set yours, or what do you do? I learned that from Tony, actually, to do that. I have a lot of random, like, there's no rhyme or reason to mine. It's just, like, kind of whatever right. feels, i just kind of grown into whatever my configuration is. Yeah, I'm sure when you started playing it, you were used to left down triangle, so you, that's that's what you have it set at. Yeah, Just muscle memory. Yeah, like left up, right up, left down, all those. I have up down and down up for like front and back flips and stuff like that. So it kind of correlates with the trick, at least a little bit. Uh oh. Wait, you I just got. 
you just got one? Where is it? Oh my god, where did you just come from? Don't know. Oh we'll goodness. never know. Dude. I'm sneaky, man. Oh my god, where is- Oh, is this it? This has gotta be it. But now you got- Oh no. <laughs> oh. Can you get- Can you get him in here? Let's see. Let's see if these turn. Oh yeah! Wait. In overtime, I could still go. Oh no, oh. dude. My game is- Woo! Oh man, no John. Okay. We're gonna change levels. <laughs> Let's go to smaller level. Oh my god, dude. I'm feeling so good right now. <laughs> yeah, let's do um, a little bit smaller. And then it, it'll literally be impossible to beat you. Let's try skate park. This is going to be a lot smaller, but there should be a lot more things to tag regardless. So when I was a kid playing this game, I literally, I played it so much as like, you know, 1999 kid that I like stopped skating and kind of got fat for a second. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> Yeah, like I really played it a lot at that time. Like I said, the muscle memory goes away after 20 years, but yeah. It's crazy looking at the old graphics too. The old graphics are like, I didn't think they were that bad, but then I saw like a side by side the other day and I was like, whoa. Dude, it's rough. Yeah, dude, it's all pixelated and dark and everything. Yeah, and like the old games were like really floaty and like, um, like trying to play them now, I think would be kind of rough. I don't know if people would really, really like get into it or not. But like back then, it was the jam, man. That was like everything. Felt yeah, I mean our, our standards were so low. Did you collect Pokemon cards? I no, I missed the Pokemon train. Like, Dude, yeah, like we, I had, I had like Charizards and stuff, and I would have had. Do a Charizard right now, you get grade ten is like thirty grand or something crazy. Like, and I just gave mine away to like someone in the neighborhood. Really? Yeah, I don't know why I did that. I'm like so mad at myself. I had one of those. Oh no! I'm trying to think. Sit on a thirty thousand dollar Pokemon card right now, but no, dude, gnarly. It just reminds me of these times, Poke like collecting Pokemon cards and and uh, playing Tony Hawk. The same era. Oh yeah, same time. And then learning how to like 50 50 my flat bar in front of the house. Nice. And, and eating donuts and playing this game. <laughs> okay, so this is not. Uh, oh! What did you not hit? That's what I need to go for. Is everything done? You even I got think, up there too? I think there's some. Uh, oh, wait, maybe not. There's a couple. I've had. Oh! <laughs> Please bail. Please bail. Please bail. Don't don't you dare go over there. Let's go. Oh, oh that's it. Oh, okay. I thought I missed it. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> GG. Okay. One All zero. Right. All right. The redemption there we go. tour. This now feels evenly matched. I like that you're so good at this that if somebody gets one. You win. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like we've been playing this since Tony Hawk 3, like in the year, was that, 2003? Uh -huh. like there was only like three or four game modes and we were just like kind of bored and just looking for something new. And we just came up with this and it was just like pretty addicting and fun. Even with, like with good players against other good players, like it's still a, kind of a balanced challenge. It is a smart way to do it. Have you have you told them about doing it this? No, I guess that wouldn't make sense for online play. Like so, in past versions of the game, there were teams. So like, if you really want to do it, you could just set the teams to be seven against one. So, uh, um, but yeah, it could be cool to do like its own little game mode somehow, and like make their pieces glow, or stand out better, or something. Uh oh. I, th oh, no. I think I know, I think I know my strategy. Should I, just, I tell you? I mean, I you. yeah, you should, yeah. To you should totally tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I just bailed though. So. I think what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I think I'm only gonna concentrate on one zone, and that's it. And then like hope that you just don't. Just don't go there. No, that. No, yeah. You know what? It's not a good strategy because I think. The only reason I won other ones is like I might have crooked grinded like a little flat bar that you didn't see before. 
Yeah, I think that's it. See, and if I stop talking to you, then I'm for sure screwed. <laughs> But it's like works both ways because it's like it takes effort and like you have to think a lot Good for point. your point, but then it could also distract me. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm more banking. Uh, yeah, no, it's a lose lose. <laughs> it's a lose lose. <laughs> oh, let's go. We're looking good, boys. Oh. Oh no. Oh, my controller just came apart. <laughs> I mean, I bailed anyway, but. Wait, I'm still going for once and you're not? Yeah. Oh, sh oh no! Ah! Did you bail? Oh, you did. <laughs> Dang. Ah. All right. Okay, so I'm getting shut out this time. Is it 2 0, right? Uh, 2 0, yeah. This one's right, closer. This is, this is it, man. To talk or not to talk? Hmm. <laughs> Your chat's telling you to do push-ups right now? Is it a thing? You do push-ups on uh, I, You know, like the channel points or whatever? I was like, I'm like, if I'm sitting here gaming for hours, I might as well get a couple push-ups in. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, and... Uh, I I only I only limit it to twenty because I don't want to do any more than that. So <laughs> so yeah, well, uh, but I have to do ten at a time. So I was thinking about one day opening it up to thirty and then maybe forty, but I just don't know. I just don't know if I'm. I couldn't do that on stream. I mean, I could like I could do push-ups like all right. Like I'm not. That's probably one of my weakest like exercises. But like, I just doing that in front of people would be like I'd be so self-conscious. Oh, yeah. I mean, whatever. It's all for fun. Yeah, totally. I uh, I just put up a reward in mine that was like 25,000 points. I, I will give you a compliment. And I think that's going over kind of well. Really? Yeah. What, so what kind of what kind of compliment you give? I mean, it's, it's like I don't know. It's like kind of ca it's kind of canned cuz it's like um, you know, I don't really know this person or what they look like or what they do. I just see their screen names. I'll just be like, you know, I bet you have really pretty eyes. And I like your name. Okay. It's really cool. So it's like, do you have a Siri or an Alexa or OK Google or, or whatever the hell it's called? A Google, yeah. I have a yeah. Pixel. Do you ever ask, like, say, give me a compliment? Have you ever asked that? Really? No. <laughs> yeah, you can ask it and it'll just like, like you said, it'll say, oh, Today you're looking good. You have great eyes. Like it's the same wow. thing. It'll, it'll come up with a generic. Okay, I can come up with some ideas there. Yeah, just ask your phone, and then you'll get like ten ideas. Just keep asking it. It'll just keep popping out new ones. <laughs> yeah, something you could do on your stream. You could. Um, I do this. Well, I did it last stream, but I do it like once every couple months when people are off guard. It's like. Um, okay, Google Play Despacito, and usually one person in chat is like, "Oh my God, you just made my whatever play Despacito." Oh, that's kind of cool. Or just you could say like out loud, like you know, Xbox turn off, and then someone in chat is like, "Dude, just troll." But probably not a good idea for rewards. Just saying. <laughs> People in my chat are like, "Oh, stop." I need to find your one. Ah, uh, staying quiet. There it is. Oh! <laughs> I, that's why I got quiet. I started sh shushing the... Uh, sh <laughs> but then again, I my strategy of talking to you more actually helped, so I should have I should have did that. Damn! Yeah, well, man, you're good. You're good. Well, do you want to do one more? What are you thinking? Let's just do one more. Maybe a little bit bigger. Not as big as a school, mm -hmm. but a little bit bigger than this. Maybe Skate I think that, Street? Hmm. What would be like just above that? Mall would be rough. Oh, that would be impossible. Because, yeah, it's just there's too much random little cutouts in there. All right, we're doing Skate Street. <laughs> Skate Street. Okay. This is okay. You were playing this last night, right? And you yeah. were trying to get 100 mil. Mm hmm. 
Okay. Is that what you're going to do after this? Go for the 100 mil again? Possibly. Yeah, I might. It's kind of like a, uh, it's a white whale at this point. It's like, um, eventually yes, but there's moments where I like, I need to take a break. So, but yeah, probably I'll probably do it after this. Okay. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll do this one and then, uh, you could get back to it. Yeah. Back to the grind, man. What have you been streaming? You've been streaming a lot of Warzone, right? Uh, I stream Warzone, like, I think only once, actually. But, uh, I, I, I'll play Fortnite, and I played this game when it first got released again. Um, Skater XL a little bit. Uh, I just kind of bounce around. I don't really, like, I have suck at everything I do, so I just, like, have fun and nice. talk to the chat. And, That's what's important, yeah, that, man. I think it's, like, definitely about just, like, the friends you make along the way. You know what's interesting? I was reading about Twitch before I got on, and it was like a little community starts to develop. And I was like, oh, I wonder if that would happen. And then now it's like I've been streaming for like two or three months, and I'm seeing the same people pop in. And, you know, you kind of like get to know them a little bit, and then they become friends. And it's pretty, it's just. It, it, it's it, pretty awesome. It is very awesome. I, I didn't. I didn't know what to expect, and it's exactly what I read, which was surprising. So yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, and I think the thing that trips me out the most is like when people, you have your regulars, and then like um, the regulars become really good friends. And that, then, yeah, exactly. And then on top of that, if you like go raid another streamer, and then like they cross pollinate with like, each other's communities, and it's just like this whole like kumbaya moment. It's like, I don't know, it's wholesome. Yeah, it's like a little, just a little community that developed from you just wanting to play some video games. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty awesome. Okay, you're gonna smoke me. I know this is your map. I like doing Benny Hanna's, by the way. Yeah, I'm a fan. I don't know if I'm gonna smoke you. I got I'm just like, you got some stuff outside they're gonna worry about. We're switching to Andy Cam right now. I can't like okay. see. I think I got them all, but I think... Oh, there's a quarter pipe back there. That might be the last one. Oh, there's a rail there, too. This guy is what I want. Is this it? Yeah, dude. Oh. No. Wait. Wait, you won? Yeah. <laughs> Why would, why'd you do that? <laughs> Dang it! All right. All right, here we go. Round two. Ah! No pressure. Okay. I, I tried to do one of these little, like, secret lines that I saw you do last night on here, by the way. Mm -hmm. Like, you do this little wall ride thing. Like, it's you, you like these little, like, three-foot quarter pipes in the side, in the corner. Mm -hmm. And then you transfer over, and then you go up those big stairs up to the big quarter pipe. Or, yeah. to, sorry, to the big vert ramp. Yeah. And I was watching that, and I was like, how that... How do you get up there? But then I almost pulled it off one, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. But it's cool that you just know all those little, 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 little things. Yeah, and the, the cool thing about, like, Tony Hawk games in general, it's like, when you have a line, like, it's always, like, you're always iterating on it. Like, you're finding little ways to make it a little bit more efficient, a little bit more, like, just finding random ways to use objects in the level to make that line a little bit more efficient. And so it's just kind of like an endless thing. It's like always developing. So it never gets stale doing the same thing over and over. If that makes sense. So like some of the stuff in that line, I wasn't doing that last week, you know, kind of thing. Oh my yeah, God, I just sure. failed. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was my oh, insurance combo. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, it's all over now for me, but we'll see. Is this gonna be, oh my God. It's gonna be okay. close. Okay. I gotta concentrate. <laughs> I gotta just hit all that random stuff. That's that's my job right now. Oh, I think I'm. Wait, streaming? Yeah, I'm streaming. Oh, uh, yeah, Vince is coming in. What up? He walked into the room. Who, who are you talking to? Uh, I'm Chris. playing with uh, Andy. He's the best Tony Hawk Pro Skater uh, player in the world. Awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Does he play? Oh, I've seen him. 
Um, no, Vince, Vince, when was the last time you played this game? 99? Yeah, um, when it first came out, yeah, for sure. I remember telling Mike Mo one time he was playing Tony Hawk when it came out. And, uh, I mean, how old were you? Nine or something? It was kind of like right when we first started skating and he was, uh... Yeah, like nine, yeah. He was just always playing Tony Hawk. He was like, dude, what are you doing, man? I'm like, why don't you go out and, like, actually skate? You're sitting here playing Tony Hawk all day, but you don't give a shit. You don't give a shit. That, see, I uh, I wasn't lying earlier when I said I got fat when I was I nine. It, man. I believe it, man. I can Pokemon, relate. Pokemon, uh, pro skater. See, and then he, <laughs> then he dropped Pokemon. So we were talking about Pokemon and everything. Our, uh, our stories are consistent? Yeah. They're very consistent. Yeah. See, I'm not lying about anything. But, like, look at him, Vince. He's still going. He's, like, not even paying like, attention. He's like, oh, yeah. He's like, you got that quarter pipe? Not anymore, man. I'm really he trying to get bail, to this though. quarter pipe over here. He could bail, though. I could. What's up? Oh. Andy. Oh, I, I already oh, asked too. Oh, Vince, I'll explain it to you later. Oh, okay. I, I, uh, I asked him. All right. Two! <laughs> <sighs> Woo! He, he, he just... He's he, human. He overlooked something. He didn't even mess up. He just overlooked something that, oh, really? that I, I, I seeked out. Is that a word, seeked? That's a good question. I don't know. Suck? <laughs> I sucked out? I sucked out. I sucked <laughs> out that one thing. That, ooh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so is it uh, one to one or two to one now? Uh, actually, I don't remember. It, it's, I is think it it's one to one? one, to one. Or two to one? Is it one to one? I think it's one-to-one. -one. Okay. <laughs> hey, Mike, it's Andy's boss. You won his job. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to uh, my uh, my direct superior um, at Vivi earlier, and he's a big fan. And he was like, oh, nice. yeah. I had to watch the, uh, the fully flared intro again because it's been a while. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to ask. I mean, you probably get it a lot, but like that explosion on the staircase during the intro, like, like, how did that go? Did you burn some arm hairs, or was everything cool after that? Or are you using my strategy against me right now? Uh, maybe. <laughs> um, no. Yeah, that was scary, man. That was very, very scary. But actually, I lost. Eh, I'm gonna say this. Mm, let me let me think of how to word this without it sounding too dramatic. But at that moment, it was just so loud. It, it was made with napalm, by the way, like a napalm bomb that they would use in like World War II and shit. Whoa, like, that's so, serious. Yeah, so that thing was very loud. And uh, my hearing in my left ear actually never returned to the same after that. because No was just way. But now, like, like I said, without sounding dramatic, um, I can hear completely fine out of it. It's not like it's horrible, but I'm gonna say I used to have 100% hearing out of that ear. Now I have 90%. Uh, you know, yeah. so it it went down a little bit, but it's still completely fine. You know, nothing to complain about. Yeah, I feel that. But that's you know, I I would have traded the arm hair. You know, to go back yeah. to <laughs> yeah. the arm hair for the 10% of hearing. Weird. Yeah. But that was definitely frightening, I'll tell you that. I believe it, dude, that looks so serious, like, I mean, the slow motion, obviously, like, dramatic effect, like, but, I mean, that's scary, dude. It's not just, like, any stair, stair set. No, that's why, like, my face at the end, I was, like, extreme. you could see in my face, I'm like, oh, like, big, oh, yeah. face. It's it, because it was loud, and it was very hot, too. It felt like I was coming, like... You know when you open the oven, you're cooking something? Yeah. Open the oven, it blasts you in the face, and you're like, oh, that's hot. Imagine an oven that's like 200 feet tall. <laughs> you know, it just fully... It, your whole body feels that sensation, so... Yeah. Two that's one. why it's scary. Um, yeah, that's terrifying, man. Like, that's no joke. So people in chat who aren't aware... Mike was in a skate video where they this whole intro is like super slow motion and they just had a, like a three minute segment. Um, all super slow and things were just blowing up as the skaters were tricking off of them. And Mike did a kickflip down to like a 12 stair or eight stair and uh, it blew up right behind him. And it just looked like, dude, what? Like, like my first thought was just like, dude, what are you thinking, man? Wait till he gets like a little bit further away at least. Like, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. 
I should have waited a little, just two more seconds, man. But then it, you lose that dramatic effect. I mean, you got Ty Evans that filmed it, and Rick Howard, and Spike Jones. So yeah, like they they want that dramatic, real reaction and real, you know. So that's why they blew it up on my face, pretty much. But it was effective. It worked. It was effective. It worked, and I I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't trade it. You know that was. Yeah. And you that had a, you had one take, right? That was it. Well, we so they we until were, you landed uh, it, or yeah, we would have we would have gone until. Oh, well, let me, let me think this out because you know it's like magic hour when you film. Yeah, we probably had more of realistically a five to ten minute window to get it done. Ah, but I did do it first try. Of Ooh, wild filming. Yeah, nice actual yeah. first try. There's like a yeah, running, like, there's an actual I, I, running joke in my chat where like any good combo I land is, is first try, regardless if I took 30 tries, we just say it's the first try. Anyway, go ahead, sorry. All the stuff comes on its first try, you know? Yeah. But I think I did it, um, let me think. I did it maybe four, three or four times in a row, and then like strategically at that time, because it was like, okay, at 6.30 we need to film this, you know, like on the dot, that's when magic hour is, I'm like, okay. So I did it like maybe three or four times in a row before we started filming, but I don't think those were first try. I think it took me like two or three times to do it. And then once I did it, I did three or four times in a row. And then at that point it was uh, like, okay, hey, we're good to go, let's film. And then I did that one first try on Whoa. film. Yeah. Dude, palm sweaty, mother spaghetti. That's <laughs> like, that's real talk. It, it was, yeah. I mean, and like I'm I, over I, here, like I'm a drummer, and I like kind of lost a lot of hearing for sure from drumming. I was oh, like, I have like okay. a out issue is, yeah, that's the thing. Not like, as cool as a story yourself. as like, um, you know, the staircase blowing up behind me from you know a napalm bomb or anything, but you know. Yeah. But yeah, there's times like, um, I don't know, I just you know. I just, I'm hard of hearing. It's like, and ever since I was just like early 20s, and it's just like one of those things. Say if you fall asleep and the room is quiet, do you hear ringing? A ringing? Ear? Yep. Yeah. Tinnitus. You know, so what's interesting is that that started happening to me re recently, and I never thought about it until right now. Is that my left ear is always ringing, and that's the ear where when I landed the switch flip down the stairs, my left ear was the one the, the one i'm talking about the 90 percent hearing here mm -hmm. but i never thought about the ringing ears until this moment <laughs> it's real man yeah so you, you just you just totally explained why you helped me figure out why that that is an issue for me yeah i don't know sorry but also yeah it's so what i've discovered is also um like if i'm ever in a completely quiet space um, that's when i notice it like um that's when I notice it. Otherwise, it's like totally fine. Otherwise, exactly. I'm basically just like, um, I'm just that guy at the party that's just like, what? Like four times, like you gotta, you know, yell it for me. Oh, you know what'd be interesting though, is to put your headphones on my head and to hear how loud you listen to yours compared to mine. Dude, mine is way too loud for sure. Is it very loud? Yeah. yeah. So is yours the same? It's just on my left ear. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I wish I could control it like that, but no, um, it's fine. It's fine. Right on. Yeah, I don't think it's that bad actually. But I hear the ringing. The ringing drives me crazy when it's empty, though. Like, like you said, when it's quiet, I'm like, dude, I need to turn the TV on or something. I have to fall asleep with the TV, otherwise I hear the ringing. Yeah. I, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to start another graffiti. Yeah. Like, so I have to go to sleep with a fan. Um, like just oh, and that'll cancel it. Yeah, just just blowing like on a one, even if it's cold. I'll just like have something going. But, I was uh, looking at your screenplay right there, and I thought I was playing, but I, I <laughs> you're like trying to control it. Yeah. Um. Wait. Did is that it? Did you was yeah. that the series? Three to one. Okay. Well, at least I got one, and we figured out the nice balanced <laughs> map of like. Like the school's obviously like maybe a little bit too hard because it's stretched out. Mm -hmm. This map you would destroy me, but that one that was a nice little medium. Right? Yeah, Skate Street felt the most balanced, and the skate park I feel like was a little bit tilted towards me. Saint Marseille. 
but uh, yeah. Well, I'm sure they're all, you know, realistically, they're all tilted towards you. Maybe, maybe a little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sick, dude. Well, where can people find you? Like, you have a YouTube channel and stuff, too? You know what? I do, but I don't really use my YouTube channel ever. Like, I actually am streaming on my YouTube channel right now, That I, now that I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. But that's all I use it for. So, yeah, I'm on YouTube. It's actually someone from Kenya made my YouTube channel back in the day. What? That's yeah. Ridiculous. And... He got it up to like over a hundred thousand subscribers, and then he was like, "Hey, I have a girlfriend now, and like I don't really like pay attention to skateboarding that much anymore. But here's the login if you want it." And I'm like, "Okay, cool, I'll take it." So uh, yeah, um, he hooked that up. He, you know, that was a nice little thing of him to do. Nice. Um, but oh, yeah, here's my hundred k su subscribers that, real quick. Just like straight up gives you like six figure subscribers on YouTube. Like, oh, nowhere. that's awesome. Yeah, it was insane. I was like, okay, cool. Thanks, man. But yeah, that's called Mike Mo Capaldi Skates. And then on here, it's Mike Mo underscore Capaldi. And then, but you're just Andy THPS on everything, right? Yeah. That's simple. Yeah, it's one benefit of having like a kind of a stupid, like a stupid, I kind of hate Andy THPS, but it's, you know, it's part of me now. But the one benefit is that it's never taken on any of the platforms, so. That is nice. I mean, why would anybody else use THPS for any combination of letters ever? Yeah. So. Exactly. That, that is nice. Sick, dude. Cool, man. Well, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was awesome, man. I, it's an honor to play with you, and it's ridiculous how good you are at this game. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. good job. And, and yeah. also, too, like, you get a lot of viewers and everything. It's awesome. And just congratulations on all that, because that's not easy to do. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, it's a lot of, uh, you know, I played drums to like three viewers for like a year and then started snowballing to like 20, 30. And then when this game came out, it just sort of like surged with my like YouTube channel and all that stuff. So, yeah, super thankful. That's awesome, man. Cool, dude. Well, shoot, we'll have to do this again sometime. Maybe we could play a different game or just, you know. Um, oh, we should, dude. Yeah. Do, you, do you play any of the shooter games at all? I've like, been playing a I lot. I played a game. lot of uh, Counter Strike in the past. I have played uh, Fortnite. I'm not that good, but I could get down on whatever, really. You know. All right. Well, we'll log on sometime, man. It'll be fun. I'm down. Cool, All man. right. Go get that. Go get that hundred mil. <laughs> All right, dude. Take care. Later. All right, man. Later. Dude, so that was cool. Mike freaking Mo Capaldi. So. Not to like make excuses, but I've this is my first time in a private match, and there's some considerable um, handicap going on over here. But anyway, thank you guys for being here. That was a trip, man. Like, I'm not like uh, like fangirling over Mike Mo, but that dude's a big deal. He's like he's an amazing skater. He's been in like over 12 big name skate films, and like he won the first battle at the barracks, and. I think it was ESPN or X Games Game of Skate. And he's just like, he's legend. He's like a flat ground legend and he could take some huge stair sets and just do some gnarly tech stuff too. He's, he's awesome. So having that opportunity was sick. All because I was just like on Twitch at like 1 a.m. one night, just like um, cruising around. I was like, oh, Mike Mo's on like, what? He streams? And then I just threw him a follow and then that whole thing happened where he's like, oh my God, I know who you are. And then it like, DM'd him on Twitter the next day and he was like down to like, you know, hang out, play games. So yeah, that was sick. Yeah, like when he said that, like, I know who you are, Tony talked about you all the time, blah, blah, blah. It's like, what? Are you kidding? Because I, that, like, I never talked to Tony. I just like, like his photos on Instagram and stuff, so. I was lagging a considerable amount. I don't know if you guys could tell, but like, it was hard to chain the combo together. I don't know if it was my local or private matches or what but it might have just been my machine not be able to keep up yeah that was rad excuse i know it's an excuse but like still i feel like it was even regardless like you know he won half i won half i think he ended up winning more yeah i'm starstruck that dude's legit man it's nothing to sneeze at he's not just like you know richard down the street who can kickflip like mike mo is like a world-class skater you know um i didn't know so there's a story on the Nine Club. There's a highlights um, channel on YouTube where Mike Mo explains how he broke his um, leg. <clears throat> Apparently, he could still like skate a little, or it's just not the same as like he was, kind of thing. But I didn't know it was a, like a career-ending thing. But it's cool. He's in good spirits and he's still down to skate and like play basketball and stuff. So that's good to hear. Mike Mo, hey man, what's up? Thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. How you guys doing? Good to see you. Dude, that was such a good time. Um, I was just saying, like, 
dude, Mike Moe's the real deal. He's not just like Richard down the block who can do a kickflip. Like the dude's like world-class skateboarder. So that was like a treat, man. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. Appreciate that. It was also a nice change. Like, you know, normally I just get on and try for high scores or just, you know, talk jive with the chat and just being able to like talk with someone on Discord and talk about whatever. It's fun, man. Thank you. How you guys doing? What's up, Mike Moe's dad? Are you actually Mike Moe's dad? Or all of you, Mike Moe's dad.